Hey, quick question. Would you like to live past the age of 100? Well, you know, in the U.S., the life expectancy is about 78 years old. And living past 80, there's a lot you can do to control and slow down the aging process. About 10% of your aging is contributed to your genes. 90% are things you could actually do on a daily basis to slow down the hands of time. Now, living to 90, 100, it's a possibility, of course, if you take the right steps. Uh, there's nothing better than living uh, at an older age while having a great quality of life, being strong, happy, disease-free, having a sense of purpose, so on and so forth. So I've done a lot of research to figure out the best ways to increase our life expectancy, but not just that, but also the quality of life as we age. Now, I speak to a lot of older people. I just love speaking to people that are 70, 80, 90 years old. They have so much to share. I feel their knowledge is, is pretty much unlimited. More than you'll find in a book, any type of school, so on and so forth. They have so much to share based off their life experience that it's priceless. And I speak to them and I, and I ask them what they eat, uh, what type of lifestyle they have, what they drink, what they love doing, what they hate doing. At the same time, I've done a lot of research based on scientific studies that actually uh, showcase people that are living 90, 100, 110 years old. There's small patches of populations uh, around the earth that people are averaging uh, past 100 years of age. And as we know, as uh, technology improves and, and life gets better, the whole world life expectancy increases. And um, there's been a lot done to figure out what are these uh, uh, huge factors that will lead you to a long, plentiful, happy life. I'm going to discuss three major factors that I incorporate on my daily basis and at the same time I would love for you to do them so we can both live to a, a nice ripe elderly age and uh, you know factor number one we're going to discuss nutrition diet now um, we all know the healthier you eat the longer you live but uh, I also speak to people that are older in the 80s and 90s and they really do not watch their nutrition. Uh, they don't have like a, a special tofu, low carb, high carb, whatever type of diet. They eat uh, very healthy for the most part, uh, not a lot of processed stuff. But one thing I've noticed is they eat till they're 80% full. Now they never uh, overeat or, or completely pig out. Um, what they do is they eat until their stomach fills up a little bit. When they sense the hunger is gone, they stop eating. At the same time, they eat a very plant-rich diet. Higher vegetables, higher antioxidants, slows down the aging process, less free radicals, less wrinkles, so on and so forth. So add vegetables, eat a moderate diet, but just watch your portions, most importantly. Uh, tip number two, Exercise. I don't have to tell you this. You know exercise, walking, jogging, whatever you, you enjoy doing is going to lead you to a longer life. Not just exercise in terms of going to the gym once or twice a week, but actually being uh, physical, gardening, uh, you know, walking up hills, doing something that engages your cardiovascular system, your brain, every aspect of your physical body uh, on, on a daily basis. Uh, the more often, the better. You know, I, I firmly feel that a person who walks seven days a week is going to have a much higher benefit than a person who works out one day a week at the gym. So stay active, uh, make use of your body and mind at the same time and boost blood flow to the brain, which is the number one uh, decrease here of cognitive decline. So the more you exercise, the slower your brain ages. So keep that in mind. Number three. This is a huge, huge factor and it's based on the two most dangerous days in a person's life. Now, that is one well, number one, the day you're born. Number two, the day that you retire. Why I'm saying this is because when we don't have a purpose towards doing anything, our life doesn't have much meaning. Now, uh, not to sound really out there, regarding this if you truly do think about it you know every day you have a, a purpose for living and that purpose for living is what in a sense uh, catapults you towards waking up to the next day research has shown people that stay active post-retirement tend to live 
much longer than people that don't have hobbies, uh, work-related functions, uh, charity events, uh, family structures, so on and so forth. So as you age, you always want to have a purpose and a meaning for your life. And that doesn't mean that you have to go start a new business. It means having a sense of waking up and enjoying the day and, and having something that you enjoy doing. Whether it's spending time with your family, whether it's writing, reading, uh, socializing with friends. Uh, you know, of course, social uh, relationships are one of the biggest factors why people live longer than others. Having friends, having uh, communications, uh, decreasing your stress levels, having faith. You know, having a, a group of people that you have a common goal with, wh whether it's God, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, becoming a better person, giving back, so on and so forth. So, uh, pretty simple. I'm not asking much from you, but just reevaluate your life. See those three factors. You know, are, are you eating too much? Are you doing some type of exercise? And, 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 and what's your daily purpose um, as you age and, and as you go about life? And the more you keep these three factors in mind, uh, that's when you have that 90% control over your aging process. Uh, until next time, let's make it happen. And I uh, hope you can take some information away and uh, apply it to your life and improve the life as you age. All right, talk to you later. Bye.